peptide. And next, I want to talk about growth hormone releasing peptide. So I personally would not want to, you know, I, I wouldn't give a patient uh, human growth hormone myself um, because of particular concerns, such as when you give a person this hormone directly, you are, um, you know, shutting down the pituitary glands production of growth hormone self. So there's a feedback loop. So you end, you end up um, you know, inhibiting your own production, but also you can overshoot, right? You can give too much. So if you st stimulate your own pituitary gland to secrete a hormone, your body's smart. It's never going to produce way too much because you stimulate it a lot. It doesn't happen that way. So there's a biological or physiological ceiling that you're not going to exceed. Um, so that's a safety net. And also growth hormone itself can cause insulin resistance and, you know, some, you know, blood sugar issues. So that's another potential problem. So I prefer giving people growth hormone releasing uh, peptides, uh, such as ipromorelin and CJC1295. So these two, um, actually, I use them together because they function differently. Um, so they have different mechanism to help with growth hormone release. So ipromorelin mimics ghrelin, and then uh, CJC basically directly stimulates the um, pituitary gland. So ipromorelin, um, people love it. You know, a lot of people, you know, say that it, um, you know, help them to lose the belly fat. So, you know, reduce weight. Um, it's been reported to be super helpful in women. Um, it improves sleep. And I, you know, and, and CJC 1295 as well. So this growth hormone peptide set is usually taken at night, sub-Q injection. And I've definitely seen people sleeping much better. Um, so the, the, you know, the ipromorelin, um, you know, we know there's no, you know, there's no sensitization issue. So you don't, you know, by using it, you don't, you know, kind of desensitize your body. So it always remain, um, um, helpful or effective. It improves muscle growth and has anti broad anti aging benefits. You know, if you think of growth hormone, which de declines as we age, uh, growth hormone helps with repair throughout our body. So it's a useful hormone, right? It promotes growth and regeneration. So, so that's, um, you know, that's what they do. And the CJC 1295, you know, has been shown to decrease recovery time, increase muscle mass and in, improves fat loss. It improves cognition, um, you know, repair, regeneration, and pr it promotes slow wave deep sleep, um, which is the time that you have the highest level of muscle growth, memory retention, and rejuvenation. And I always use them together, and a lot of doctors do, because the combination results in a five-fold increase in efficacy. So, um, and the, the sleep quality usually improves on day, you know, the third or fourth day, uh, improving body composition. It protects your heart, your neurons, your immune system, you know, your, you know, helps your metabolic um, status and, uh, and protects your, your muscles. And um, another one we use that's pretty interesting is called tesamorelin. So it's a growth hormone releasing uh, kind of peptide. Um, initially was invested in the treatment of HIV patients to reduce the uh, drug-induced uh, central obesity these patients have. So when they use this um, tesamorelin daily for 26 weeks, they found that these people have significantly decreased uh, visceral uh, fat and uh, improved uh, lipid levels. So, so this hormone increases natural production of human growth hormone, increased IGF-1 without changing the glucose parameters. So like I mentioned, the human growth hormone could, and this one does not. And it increased protein synthesis and muscle growth and increasing the breakdown of fat. So it can reduce body fat by 7.4%. And it can improve fasting insulin level of course, the higher insulin level is related to, you know, all kinds of issues, including high body fat and, and higher cancer rate. And it can re reduce triglycerides, reduces um, atherosclerosis, so help with your the artery. So it reduces the risk of cardiovascular events. And um, it um, can reduce inflammation marker like the C CRP, reduce fatty liver disease, improve cognition and memory, 
um, improve exercise capacity, improve bone density and immune function. So that's another very interesting peptide that we can utilize um, to help people with, um, you know, you know, lots of functions, but including weight loss.